Hello Gemini, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This reading will be for January the 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Gemini? Um, but of course my readings are timeless so whenever you see my readings is when you were meant to receive them. So, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini in January 15th through the 31st? What's going on with Gemini? We're going to get your energy. We have... Ooh, turn lemons into lessons. So, yeah, you may be going through lessons right now, Gemini. Son, you're going through a learning experience. You're learning new lessons. Or you're trying to turn a bad situation into a better one. But I feel like you're taking whatever it is and you're turning into something that is more acceptable to you. You know what I mean? Healing energy. Yeah. You may have had some disappointments, Gemini. You may have had some disappointments in your like. Uh, turning that energy into more positive energy. Um, you're taking the, the negative energy that's thrown at you and you're like, you're like turning it into positive energy. You're not accepting the negative. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on with Gemini? January 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Gemini? January 15th through the 31st. Show me a message, Spirit. Show me some cards for Gemini. Okay, we have the star. Definitely healing energy. The Two of Pentacles. the three of cups the ten of swords the death card oops okay Gemini we have the knight of pentacles at the bottom so yeah, someone is coming in to provide you with some relief, but I feel like you're kind of in this stuck energy. Um, but you're definitely trying to be patient in the situation, but you're working hard to see things through. Um, But I feel like a reliable person, someone is coming in to provide you some kind of help in this situation. I feel like that, that may be the reason for this star card and the two of pentacles. Um, yeah, someone's bringing in new hope for you. They're, they're keeping you uplifted, you know. Um, they're providing balance and clarity in the situation. I feel like someone is someone is here to help. Someone's providing you with choices, options. And I feel like this is you kind of weighing your options. Okay, which way do I go? What situation do I pursue? You know, um, your overall energy is the Three of Cups. So I really love this energy for you. Because that means that you're currently in some kind of collaboration. You're currently working with the team. You're surrounding yourself with people who love you, who support you, who are giving you guidance, who are helping you through some kind of situation. You're not going through anything alone. Um, <clears throat> this may be your angels that are surrounding you to help keep you lifted and um, provide you with inner guidance. 
So you may not physically see these people around you, but I feel like you're being supported. I feel like you're being uplifted. Someone's keeping you positive. Someone's trying to turn your frown into a smile. You know what I mean? So when this Ten of Swords comes into your life, I feel like this is going to be... I'm not going to say it's not going to be dramatic. It may also be painful. But I feel like you're letting something go. And it may be something that you really care about. But I feel like you you understand the need of letting this thing go. You understand that it's for your higher good. And I feel like although it may be hard to for this thing to end, for this thing to move from away from you, um, I feel like it's a necessary thing. It's necessary because it's it's changing you in a way that is going to bring you a lot more enlightenment. It's going to bring a lot more truth. It's transforming your life. It's taking you into the next level. With the death card, we have transformation. We have endings, but we also have new beginnings. You know, with every ending, there's a new beginning. So I feel like this is taking you into the next level. Whatever this is that you have to let go of. I feel like you understand that it's necessary. Okay, let's take a look. What else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini Spirit? The lovers. Okay, so Gemini. If this was love that ended, you have new new love coming in kind of quickly. Um, if this is, if you're not attached with someone, if you're not ending this with someone, um, I feel like this is definitely new love coming in. So be prepared, Gemini. New love is coming. We have the five of wands. So I feel like this this situation is going to take you on a new journey. This situation is going to make you feel more playful, make you feel more alive. Um, you may play a lot with this person. You know, you may do sports or something like that. You may run, jog, you know, do some kind of athletic thing with this person or even hiking or walking. But I feel like you and this person are very playful, very active, very competitive, you know? We have the <clears throat> Two of Swords. So yeah, you may have to make some hard decisions this month, Gemini. You may need to remove the blindfold so that you can see everything clearly. But you may have to make some unexpected choices, some unexpected decisions. You may have to compromise some kind of situation. Very interesting. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. So someone is going to come in with a lot of resources. This may be this love. Uh, that's coming in, but someone's coming in with a lot of resources. They're coming in with a lot of passion, a lot of healing. They're being very supportive. They're helping you in ways that you know you need. They're they're being there for you. Yeah, the three pentacles definitely. They're providing support. They're building you up. They're showing you the way you have two cards here with collaboration support teamwork you know um so definitely you have a team behind you showing you which way to go and we have on the bottom the hangman so definitely you've made the sacrifice you've gained the wisdom 
now you're getting a different perspective. This is the benefits, the rewards from making your sacrifice. Definitely beautiful energy, Gemini. Very beautiful energy. Let's get a little bit more clarity <clears throat> on this situation. Okay, spirits. Tell me about this star card. What is this star? Tell me about this star. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes, someone is being very resourceful. This may be you being very resourceful, Gemini. Uh, this could also be an Earth sign coming in to provide you with the positive energy to heal the situation, to understand how to put your perspective into action, you know? We have the Two of Pentacles. What do we have for the Two of Pentacles? The Hierophant. Yeah, with these choices that you have to make, you're learning lessons. You're learning. You're learning the lessons from the situation. I feel like you had to make some hard choices. You had to um, weigh your options in a way that maybe was very struggling for you with this Ten of Swords and Death card. But I feel like you learned the lessons from the situation. Um, and I feel like it was very hard. But you, you're getting through it and you're coming above, you know, where you were before. It's all for your greater good, Gemini. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Yeah, this Four of Wands. So yeah, this support, this support that you gained, this team of support that you have around you kept you uplifted. They kept you happy. They kept you in a brighter space, you know. Um, it helped a lot going through what you what you were going through. They were like your rock. This may be your girls. Like I said, this may be your your angels, your spirit guides holding you up. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Three of Cups. So yeah. Where this has ended, the Ten of Swords, you, you, the Three of Cups, your support system, they helped you through this. They brought you through it. And I feel like they brought you through it on a, in a better way than what you were before. And I mean, it was better than when you left it. You know what I mean? Um, you were fully supported with having to let this go. You were fully supported. Okay, what is this death card? What is this death card? Yes, the Ten of Cups. So yes, okay, with the death card you have the, the excuse me, the Nine of Cups. With the death card you have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like letting whatever you had to let go of was actually is actually moving you into a better position it's moving you into a brighter space a better life um, a better lifestyle change is a, what I want to say but it's it's giving you more happiness you're not being weighed down by whatever this thing is that you had to let go of you're, you're feeling more happy, more content. It's like... It's like you're coming out of a tunnel into a bright, sunny day. You know? Sorry, that was my cat moving the tripod. Okay, let's see. What is this lover's? Tell me about this lover's card spirit. The Ace of Swords. 
Yeah, this is going to be a new beginning, a new beginning that is very honest, very open. This is giving you a new mental direction, a new view on life, you know. I feel like with this lovers coming in with the, the Ace of Swords, someone's coming through to give you the hard truth of the situation. Um, and I feel like this person is is very honest and open. I feel like they communicate fairly, very clearly. And I feel like they're willing to talk. They're willing to talk you through it. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like this person is coming in at just the right moment, at just the right time. What is this Five of Wands? Tell me more about this Five of Wands. The Emperor. This may be an Aries that's coming through, but I feel like if this is competition, I feel like you're taking complete control. You're taking your power back. You're being more playful. You're finding time to work and play. But I feel like you're taking your power back. You're, you're making strategic plans about the situation you're going through. You're planning things out. You're, you're making plans so you don't fall into the same situation again. Tell me about this Two of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Definitely. Okay. These are hard choices that you had to make, Gemini. These are some very hard choices. You may have not have seen the answer right away. But I feel like you're not giving up. You're still standing strong. You're holding uh, your position. You're still in it to, to win it. That's what I want to say, Gemini. You're still in it to win it. I feel like even when the battle gets strong, you're like, I'm still, I'm still going. I'm still standing. I'm still here. You know, I'm not going to back down. You're not backing down. You're standing up for what it is that you believe in. And that may be with this Ten of Swords situation. <clears throat> because I feel like you're gaining your power. You're finding your power. You're finding that you're not weak in any way, Gemini. Some people may view you as weak because of how you carry yourself. But I feel like that's your power. That's your power because they never see you coming. Because they feel like, you know, like you're a pushover or like, you know, you're easy going, like you're fun loving, you know, you're a pushover. That that's your that's your strength. That's your strength because they don't see your power right off. You don't show people that until you are until you have to use your power until you have to use your strength. So I feel like you're you're standing your ground, you're defending yourself. You're standing up for whatever it is you believe in. You're not backing down. You're moving forward, Gemini. We have the Queen of Cups. What do we have for the Queen of Cups? the devil okay so with this queen of cups energy this may be someone who's dealing with some sort of addiction they may be dealing with this queen of cups to be totally honest what I'm feeling is this queen of cups is a temptation this is someone that you're tempted by you're tempted to take action um, Maybe you're already in a relationship and this Queen of Cups is coming in and they're like, you know, tempting you to have an affair or tempting you to go out of your relationship. 
Um, but yeah, that's how I'm feeling with this Devil card and the Queen of Cups. She's a temptation that is kind of luring you in. This could also be blocked energy, um, but I feel like I feel more like it's a temptation. So I feel like it'll resonate more for you as a temptation, um, as someone lusting after you or you lusting after them. You know, will you take action? I don't know. Will you? What do we have for the Three of Pentacles? The Four of Swords. Yeah. So your, your team, the people that are surrounding you to support you, this is letting you know to take a hard look at yourself. Take care of yourself. Provide yourself with love, with self-love, with, you know, watch your health. Watch... Um, how you rest take time to rest this could be you really giving yourself some me time you know and I feel like you're being supported to do that okay at the bottom of the deck we have the hermits so definitely they were some hard lessons that you had to learn. But I feel like you're gaining the clarity. Some kind of truth is coming out. Uh, some kind of situation is being revealed to you. And I feel like this kind of pushes you towards this star, towards healing. You know, because the hermit, he has the star in his lantern. He's being led by the star. This is leading him on his journey. So I feel like with the hermit coming out, these things that you are going through um, are just leading you onto a path of healing, onto a path of recovery of rejuvenation, of balance, of, you know, putting yourself back in the spotlight. You know, learning your lessons and moving on. That's, you know, where, where I'm feeling with this Hermit card. <clears throat> um, and it's really odd that the Hermit actually came out last and the Star actually came out first. So it's like you're, you're in need of healing at the beginning but the hermit is telling you okay I need you to wait you're gonna wait for a time but I'm gonna show you the answers I'm gonna answer your questions you're something's gonna be revealed to you that's gonna help promote your healing that's gonna take you back to the beginning to help promote that healing you know very interesting Gemini let's see Let's take a look at some oracle cards. What does Gemini need to know? Spirit, tell me what Gemini needs to know. Ask and you'll receive. Definitely. Ask. Ask your angels for guidance. Ask people around you for support. But if you don't ask, you won't receive, Gemini. A closed mouth doesn't get fed you know, uh, and power and intention. So yes, that's this emperor here. Yeah, you have the power. You are a bright soul, Gemini. And we also have composure. So in whatever you go through, make sure you compose yourself, you know. Um, you don't need to compromise your permission, uh, your your position. I'm not saying that, but keep your composure. Make sure you keep your temper under wrap. You know, make sure you ground yourself, meditate, 
if you're in a situation that is bringing a lot of conflict, a lot of, you know, um, high intensity, kind of move away from that. Get yourself together, take a breath, you know, ground yourself. Within the next few months, within the next few months, Gemini, your situation is going to be bright. It's going to be better. You're coming into something. This year is going to be <clears throat> uh, a bright new year for you. I can feel it. I can feel that, you know, good things are coming to Gemini. Even though you're going through this um, at the beginning of the year, don't feel like, you know, the last year is rolling into the next because it's not. These are just things that you have to deal with in order to bring in the good. Put yourself in a better position. This is kind of the layover. You know what I mean? Tell me about Gemini. Give me some advice for Gemini. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Stay focused, Gemini. It's coming. It's coming. Your dreams, your visions, your goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. And we have Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness and the light is here. Yeah, so stay positive, stay grounded, stay, you know, motivated to um, do better. At the bottom we have karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy, Gemini. Very good advice. Very good advice. Okay, what else do we have for Gemini? What is Gemini's focus? What should Gemini focus on? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yes, Gemini, focus on discipline. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to because you are Gemini. You know, you're, you're able to do 10,000 things at once. You may not accomplish but one of them, but you accomplish that one, you know? Um, Geminis are really good at multitasking. They're really good at juggling. So, Gemini, now just provide that discipline and you will be... That no one will be able to touch you. <laughs> you got this, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Um, until the next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light.